Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome to CES 2022. And let me tell you, I just got here and look at the LG boot. Look at this place. It's empty. There is nothing here. There's nothing to see. Look at that. So basically, we have to scan some uh, barcodes here and then we can sort of like see what's supposed to be there. It's it's just so so weird. Let me show you. Let me show you. Look at that. History of all the experience. So we have to scan these barcodes and then we're supposed to download the app and then we can see what's supposed to be here but other than that it's just an empty space. Look at that. Isn't that insane? That is crazy. Let me uh, go check if there's something else here. I made it to TCL boot. No, I'm sorry, Hisense boot. Actually, this is the boot where TCL used to be. That's why I said TCL, but it is now Hisense. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Let's do this. All right, guys, so I'm here at the Hisense gaming tv section look at this they put a pc gaming pc uh, they have the 75 inch u7g and let's get close to it so here it is this is the model u7g pro now this one comes with 144 hertz of refresh rate right? this is new high view engine so this is a probably a new processor they have imax enhanced Quantum Dot, of course, Full Array Local Dimming Pro, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos support. This is the 75 inch version and it's looking really, really good. Man, they even have their own Hisense gaming PC. Look at this. Looks sick. Oh, it has a Steam Blade Cut. You can actually put my hand in there. Nice. And this TV is looking good, guys. 144 hertz of refresh rate. That's new. Look at that. So here we have the U7H, which is also a gaming TV, but I believe this one is limited to 120 hertz of refresh rate. Let's get close to it. Yes, U7H. And yes, VR 120 hertz of refresh rate. It also, they also come with the next gen TV for uh, the TV programming in uh, high resolution. But uh, this, is, this is looking good too. I reviewed the U7G. This is the newer model from that. And let me get close to it. It looks very, very similar, guys. Very, very similar, just a few tweaks. So here we go, guys. So these are the new 2022 models from Hisense, starting with the U6. I believe these are new going to, these new models are gonna be called U6H. But well, this is the entry level which honestly, it looks really nice. It's full array with local dimming. It also has some gaming features. And I think this is going to be limited to 60 Hertz. That's how the U6 models are. And then we jump to, I believe the U, U8. Oh no, well, anyway, I think it's the U7, but this is the U8 right here. And this one does come with a mini LED technology. And I can tell you right now, it looks really bright. It looks super, super nice. You can see right here, it also has, has uh, some gaming features, FreeSync, Next Gen TV, Quantum Dot technology, 1500 nits of peak brightness, and it's 120 Hertz as well. So one of the newest feature is mini LED technology from Hisense. And I think this is going to be trending here now. A lot of TVs or brands they're coming out with a mini LED technology now. This is the U9 series mini LED TV as well. 2,000 nits of peak brightness. The old meal, also VRR. And I remember last year, they didn't come out with uh, the 9 series. I think they skipped it. The top of the line model was the U8G. Now the 9 is back and it looks very similar to the U8. And here is the U7. So this is similar, but it doesn't have mini LED technology. It's not 
probably it's not going to be as bright. Local dimming, IMAX enhanced, VRR as well, but it doesn't have a mini LED technology. Over here we have models that come with another, a different operating system, the A7. It comes with something called Vida. And I think this OS goes to uh, Latin American, mis amigos latinoamericanos. They get this operating system. Then this is the R7. And I believe this is the Roku. Yes. I just reviewed a Roku TV from Hisense. I think it's the U6GR, which is also pretty nice. There's one more. This is the U800 from Hisense. This is a 8K TV. Let's take a closer look. Yes, VRR, full array. Huh, no mini LED? What's going on here, Hisense? Quantum dot free sync. I mean, all you get all the goodies except mini LED, but it is, it is 8K. Honestly, I still don't feel like there's a big difference between 8K and 4K, but it's nice to see at least there's an option here, right? Yes. Guys, Hisense also has this sound experience. Let's go in. It's nobody here. You guys won't believe how empty the CES is, but uh, look at that. So this is the U9 Pro. U9 Pro, oh god, oh my goodness, I might want to take a closer look at this TV. Look how premium this looks, so cool. Has this base in the center. Let me. Special official TV of the 16 UEFA Euro U ULED TV. My god, it looks nice, look at that. That looks so cool. So I'm sitting right here with Dolby Vision and of course Dolby Atmos as well. Wow, this TV looks nice. Deep black levels. Really nice. Okay, so here's a little sneak peek from a next gen TV. So this is basically what it is. You're getting higher resolution TV shows on your TV, but you do need to have this uh, device sort of. It's called next gen tv install on your tv so you can enjoy more or less higher definition programming which is nice well if you guys seen my channel you know that i also review 4k projectors or laser projectors in hisense they have some of the baddest projectors ultra short to laser projectors on the market let me show you so i'm going to start with this this is the 120 inch LG 9 Pro 3 Chroma laser projector. Look at this beast. Oh my goodness. It even has their own separate subwoofer. And then the projector here is massive. Oh my God. I want to get my hands on one of this. These are the tweeters. The sound is probably insane. But the picture. So one thing I noticed about the 3 Chroma laser projectors is that the colors are insane you see yellows you see greens clearly and then of course you see reds and blues i mean this camera is not doing justice of what i'm seeing here it's just like uh, watching a tv but it is from a projector and the cool thing is like you can use this on a wall but i highly recommend to have an alr screen uh, many videos in my channel with different ALR screens and different laser projectors but I haven't done a review on this one here's actually more information about it 120 inch laser 4k projector triple laser technology of course 100% BT2020 coverage that is good for HDR 4000 ANSI lumens that's insane that's insane I think the most I've covered is 3500 3, this is 4000 that's really good. Harman Kardon audio system, stereo sound field with rollable speakers, wireless subwoofer, dual screen, smart interaction. Oh, talking about dual screen, this is something new I've seen. Check this out. So this is what uh, probably what they're talking about, the dual screen. So over here, there are two laser projectors and they have this ultra wide screen. Look at this. Oh my God, it's like having your own cinema at home. 
bought it with two laser projectors. This is probably a a new feature. Let's go. Let me get closer to this. Okay, so yes, here it is. Built-in blending projection display technology support and plus and multi-screen bending blending function. Wow, this is insane. Look at that. Well, if you have the room for it, go for it. But uh, I don't have that space. But that looks awesome, isn't it? So here we have the L9G. That this is 100 inch screen. Now th there is a big difference. Look at this. This is 100 inch, 120 inches. Yes, 20 inches does make a huge difference. But the picture quality, I think it looks almost the same. As a matter of fact, I feel it looks a little bit more colorful on this projector maybe because it's just a smaller screen. But the projector does look different. It has a different shape. It's not that big. It's not as aggressive. But it also comes with a subwoofer. Subwoofer, or however it's called. This is also a triple laser projector. It has 107% bit. Wow, this is a little bit wider color gamut. 107. Like I said, it does make a difference. I feel like it's a little bit more colorful. Maybe that's the reason. 3,000 ANSI lumens. Well, compared to the other one, it's 4,000. Dolby Atmos Sound Certified Android TV. Works with Alexa and Google Assistant as well. This is nice. This is really nice. This is more something that I can put in my room. And look at that picture. That is insane. I love laser projectors. So that's it for Hisense guys. They look very promising. They told me that these TVs are available already. The U8, the U9, and the U7. And uh, so I'm gonna be checking them out pretty soon. Hope to see you guys. Hisense, looking good. Well guys, I was only at the show for a few minutes and there's nothing much from LG, but there's other brands that there's a lot of things that are showing off. Uh, Hisense, uh, TCL, uh, I believe Samsung is going to be there too. So I'm going to come back tomorrow. And in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy my time here in Vegas. Look at that. I'm at the uh, New York, New York. Here's a Hershey's store. There's a bar right here too. So I'm going to enjoy my time here. But in the meantime, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to, to see more from CES. 2022 in Las Vegas. Let's go! Smash that like button. Smash it. Smash it. Don't hesitate. Do it.